Hi there, welcome in. Are you here to find your signature scent? Perfect. Well, my name is V and I will be your perfume associate today. Have you ever tried to find your signature scent before? Perfect. Well, I'd be happy to do your first perfume analysis. So first thing, we are going to be asking you just a few questions to gauge what kind of scents might be right for you. Have you delved into perfume before? Do you have any sort of scents that you want to stay away from or try? You're not sure? Okay, that's totally fine. So, first things first, I am just going to make a profile for you. Would you mind just telling me your first and last name? Okay. Is that with an I or an E? and your email address. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I am just going to ask you a few different types of questions to kind of narrow down the pool of what types of scents might work best for you. So, first and foremost, are you an introverted or extroverted type of person? Okay. Wonderful. And are you a person who would like to wear this scent uh, as an everyday scent, or is this more as like a date night scent or a special occasion scent? What kind of places are you hoping to wear this? How often? Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Next. Perfumes have a sort of scent cloud that they emit. Some are kind of large and some are more small. How much would you like people to smell your perfume? Uh, let's say when they hug you, just when they walk by you, or do you want someone to be able to smell you from like a block away? Okay, so like somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Makes sense. Write that in there for you. Perfect. Now, are you familiar with the different types of scents for perfumes? Okay, I can list a few off for you if that's okay. Sure. So there are gourmand scents, a scents that are smelling like things that are edible, like you want to smell edible like chocolate or, mm, or caramel or vanilla, and then there are things like, mm, like earthy gourmand scents, like if you wanted to smell like carrots or, uh, you know, like apples, fruits, things like that can be gourmand, but edible scents. Um, there are earthy scents um, that smell much more um, natural, uh, like, let's say, like thyme or uh, rain or, you know, things like that, things of the earth. Um, there are skin-like scents that kind of mimic the smells that would naturally emanate from someone, so it kind of just smells like you already smell that good, but it doesn't smell necessarily like perfumey, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. There are warm scents, um, which you'll definitely find more to be typically in fall scents, but not just fall scents. Uh, like the spicier, vanilla-y kind of scents. There are musky scents. Um, there are uh, fruity, of course, and floral scents. And they all kind of um, meld together to make perfumes. So do you have any preferences, ones that you'd like to try? Florals, fruity scents, like... Okay. Okay, sure, we can just kind of throw in a mixture then. Now, I would like for you to think of a couple of things that you'd like to smell like. Like, would you like to smell like an old library, or a coffee shop, or like a really soft blanket, or like a fairy frolicking in the forest? Uh, it can be as vague or as specific as you'd like. What kinds of things would you like people to kind of think of when they smell you? What what would you like to give out to the world? What's your vibe? Okay. Lovely. Just get all of that in here. Okay. 
Okay. And could you list off a couple of your favorite colors? Mm hmm Okay. Perfect. Now, have you delved into any, like, scents at all, perhaps? Were you ever a Victoria's Secret girl? Or were you someone who purchased scents even at, like, Target? Mm hmm Okay. So, really working on a blank slate then. Good to know. Okay, I think we got a good amount of information here to get started. So, let's see here. I have, of course, a very large variety of perfumes, and I am already having a, sort of an, an idea of what you might like, but I do want to show you things that might even be kind of out of the realm of what your comfort zone might be. So I'll pull out a couple of showstoppers too. Let's start here. This is, I believe, Sinner from KVD Cosmetics. This is not one that I would generally pull given your answers, but since you are quite new to perfume, I thought I'd just show you a couple things that might be interesting at least to look at. So this is a vanilla, like a spicy vanilla scent, and it's very, um, almost like seductive and sensual, and um, definitely is a heftier scent. It is light as in it doesn't project super far, but it is just like a very deep scent, so that could be cool to try. Um, so I will just spray this for you now, just, and then just over here, just go ahead and give that a whiff there. It's much lighter on the opening, and then it deepens out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that is Center by KVD. Let's see here. What else can I pull that might not be exactly... Ooh, on kind of the other end of the spectrum. This is also kind of a more luxurious smelling perfume. It definitely has the luxurious look to it. This is... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this is Lex Days by Nina Ricci. This is a very rose-scented perfume. Very, very rose. I am not particular uh, to rose that much as it can be very powerful, but this is a very light and well blended rose perfume. Plus, of course, it's just it's just gorgeous, right? So this is a really nice one. It's got a couple of fruits there at the top. I think pear might be in here as well as pink pepper. So it's this fun, flirty rosy perfume that is definitely a little bit more of a mature scent, but of course is definitely a, um, a fancier smelling perfume. You're gonna smell rich, I think, if you wear this, so this is very fun. I'll give this a little spritz. There you go. Let you just inhale that. Mm. It's just delightful. It's light, but it settles in and becomes this really nice, flirty, rosy scent. I love it. Perfect. Now, the last scent that I want to show you that I don't think is necessarily the wheelhouse that we're going for, but of course I want you to be able to experience all of the range of scents that we've got going on. This is a very gourmand perfume here. This is very gourmand. This is by the Sun House Sniff, and it is called Tarte Deco. Tarte Deco. Tarte Deco. And this is a very spicy cherry scent. It's very like syrupy, and if you want to smell edible and delicious, but in a very refined way. I would highly recommend giving this a try because it is just wonderful. 
Now this has a pretty fair projection. It definitely goes out into the world and people will definitely be smelling you and it lasts all day long. So if you want something that will just stick after a couple of spritzes, this is definitely one to try. So we will give this a sniff. just a little spray since it is quite powerful. There you go. Go ahead and breathe that in. You can already get that cherry. It's a little boozy almost, right? Exactly. So, that is tart deco. Tart deco. Okay. So now moving into scents that I think might be more particular for you, that you might enjoy. Um, if you're looking for kind of a vanilla-y pear scent that's very unique, this is such a cool scent. This is not the full bottle, this is just a little, I think more like one milliliter or something. Um, but this is a very powerful and very sweet and delicious caramelly pear scent. This is, um, I believe, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, and it is just darling. I remember smelling this on someone about a year ago, and it was love at first scent. I remember smelling them walking in and walking out and being like, oh, I have to smell like that. I just have to smell like that. So... This is a great scent, and it's especially wonderful for fall. It definitely smells feminine, but stays all day with one or two little spritzes. So, I'll give you a little spritz of this as well, since it projects so well. This is also quite luxurious. But it has kind of a mixture of fruit and, um, and sugary smell, so... Mm. Isn't it just so unique? It's just delightful. I love it. Mm. You can definitely get that pear scent. So that's my first pick for you. If you want to go a little bit lighter, this is a really fun one. This is Lotus Pear by Seven Virtues and it is just an exquisite, light, fresh, clean smelling pear scent with a little bit of a sweet note. I believe it has geranium and rose inside as well as the pear and somehow they just mix so lusciously together smells so nice and it's so light. This is a great everyday perfume if you want to smell a little bit elevated. But look at this cute little artwork they have on the front here. I love it. So given that you said you do like pear a lot, I will definitely be recommending this one. give this a little spray as well. There we go. Take a deep breath in that one. Mm, isn't it just so fresh and lovely? Exactly. A really lovely and sophisticated sort of scent here. It is Gucci Memoir. I think this scent might have been discontinued, but you can definitely still find it in some places. And it is like sharp and light and floral and a little bit fruity. And it's just so beautiful. It's a little bit musky as well. But definitely one that you smell for the first time and you might be a little bit unsure, but as it sits on your skin, it's just so, this is another gorgeous, everyday scent that can trickle into a date night or business meeting scent. It's just fantastic. 
Gucci Noir. It's just so beautiful. So we give you a little, little bit of this as well. There you go. And go ahead. Mm. Delicious. So we're staying on that fresher, fruity side, right? Exactly. With a little bit of floral in there as well. Mm -hmm. That nice blend of the two, right? Okay, perfect. So we're on the right page. Good. Okay. Now this is the last of the big bottles I'll show you. This is not a full size, but it is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. This is by the brand Toka, or Toka, and they have this gorgeous detailing on the top that is just so beautiful. And their bottles are just gorgeous. They really make you feel like you're purchasing such, you know, luxury perfumes from the old days when they really made bottles so uniquely. They really have that vibe down. Now this is a floral with like lemon and pepper, I believe, and it has this like deep mysterious quality to it with a little bit of lemon in there and it's just so gorgeous and like deep but light. I wish I could explain it to you. You're just going to have to smell it. This is definitely if you want to smell like a fairy. This to me smells like a fairy. Go ahead and take a sniff. Oh, gorgeous. So, if you agree, I would highly recommend this as a top contender. And they do tend to be a little bit more affordable, especially in these little bottles here. Much more affordable than some of the others. <clears throat> now, since you are new to set sense. I would highly recommend taking the time to look into um, scent boxes that come to your home monthly so you can experience some new scents and really figure out what things you like and don't like. These come from Scentbird um, and these are a couple of my absolute favorite scents that I've ever smelled. This is the scent that I wanted to show you today. This is called um, For Her Eau de Parfum, and this is by Narcisco Rodriguez. And it is just an insanely delicious, like, caramel, fruity, but with like a musky beginning. And it is just so fantastic. And I, this is all I've ever wanted to smell. Whenever I wear this, I just can't stop smelling myself. I know that sounds weird, but it's just lovely, and I've gotten many, many compliments on it, and I'm very excited to get the full bottle in for anybody else who wants it, but we do have samples like these that I can uh, give you to take home, so I'll give you this to take home here. There we go. The other one that I wanted to show you from this little collection was not that one. Ah, there she is. A lovely sun house that I've just recently discovered called English Laundry. And this is called Oxford Blue Femme. And again, it's just light with caramel notes and fruity notes and a little bit of a floral. I think there's some violet or iris in there. And it just smells like a delicious summer day mixed with a cozy blanket somehow and it is just so fantastic you can see i barely have any left because i've used it so much so i'm not going to give you this but i'll make sure to let you smell it go ahead and take a deep breath in and out good isn't that just delicious exactly Now, another way we could go if you don't want to settle on like a big box today, there are like sample packs that you can purchase from different scent houses. This is a sample pack that we recently received 
from Penhaligon's. This is their portrait collection. If you can see the beautiful artwork that they have here. And you have their little signature right here. It's Pen Hackins. It's just fantastic. And it comes with all of these little tiny samples of their scents. It's just lovely. Can even tell you a little bit more about these scents because I have their scent cards with them. These are definitely more vintage smelling perfumes, especially when you first spray them on, but as they settle they become these unique scents that I could not compare to anything else. So let me pull out a couple of my favorites. This one I believe Yes, here he is. This is a very fun. Oh, let me just use my finger to get it out of here. There we go. This one is called Lord George. They're all portraits of different characters. I can take out the little pamphlet here. Just the little pamphlet that it comes with. And it says. The tragedy of Lord George. Do not come in. I'm sure we've met before. Noble patriarch, paragon of masculine elegance, Lord George welcomes with a scent of shaving soap and warm and warming rum. But what secrets hide behind tradition? So it's very fun. They have this whole storyline with these beautiful different scents. Lord George has a very unique settle down onto your skin that is just beautiful and warm and masculine, but it doesn't have to be worn by a man because I love it and I think it will work especially well on um, people who want to smell, oh, like I explained before, like a library. I think that is definitely a scent for someone who wants to smell like a warm library with the fire crackling reading a book. It's delicious and it's, I use delicious a lot because I think scents are delicious, but it's delicious and it's inviting and mysterious and I picture a man with a mustache, which I hope Lord George does have, but no, he's just a stag. Let's see, another one of my favorites here, I believe, is... At the other end here is this one, William Penhalgan himself. Little William Penhalgan, <laughs> as opposed to the large bottle. But this is a fantastic scent. Another more masculine smelling scent. And they describe it as. Just pull it out here. The inimitable William Penhalgan. I say, Mr. Penhaligon himself, he enters in a vetiver haze, warm, fresh and earthy, with a scent this good, there's no wonder he's the only trusted perfumer of high societies, ladies and gents. It is just gorgeous. It is, once again, what I want an old-timey, like, older man to smell like, but I like smelling like it, so it is just exquisite. If you're looking for more of a gourmand experience, I would highly recommend. Let's see, I believe it's Miss Constance is her name. There she is. Changing Constance. Constance is what one might call a very modern woman. She has no regard for custom and does exactly as she likes. Cool cardamom, hot pimento, salted caramel. Her contrary perfume breaks every rule. It is absolutely divine. It is warm and sexy and delicious, of course, and very, very sweet, but in, again, a very unique way, much in the same way as the Jean-Paul Gaultier 
of La Belle perfume is. Not the scent wise, but just the same unique blend. So, which would you prefer? Okay, so you'd like to try the Taka and the Jean Paul Gaultier? Absolutely. So we'll put that with you and you'll have to let me know what you think. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for stopping in. I had so much fun helping you find some fragrances and please come back anytime so we can help you figure out more, okay? Wonderful. support.